Now, you, your brother, um, he, he had many literary heroes. He had Richard Wagamese. Um, Thomas King, Thomas Highway. Um, did he have the opportunity to meet any of these heroes or how did they influence him, Bruce? And, well, no, no, he never, as far as I know, he never met any of them, but um, he has always been involved. You know, I told you, so he he wrote his own comic books. And, and in the 60s, you could buy the classics. So you could buy Hunchback of Notre Dame or... Or, or or that kind of title as a comic book called classic comic books, and uh, so he was in the '60s. He was reading the classic writers, and and I think if you were to ask him, he would, you know, I mean, absolutely, he had favorites, he had champions, um, but I don't think he would say there was a bad writer. He he read everything, and uh, I I miss that. I miss that because he would say, "Oh, I've just read this book, and you should read it." And it would be something that I would never think to pick up. And mm -hmm. it would be life-changing, you know? He was just, uh, and I think that's why he was such a good writer, because he just immersed himself in the craft. 